Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys flashback favorites to the month of April 2016. If you guys aren't familiar, I do flashback favorites every month where I flash back to a monthly favorite six months prior and let you guys know if I'm still using those products, if I like them, and just kind of how the last six months with these products have gone. So like I said, I'm going to be flashing back to the month of April 2016. I will leave a link down below to the original monthly favorites that I did as well. But let's go ahead and jump so, right in. And the first one I'm going to get out the way because it's a big bazooka. This is the Veda Blue Malva Shampoo. And I pretty much have to use this every single time I wash my hair for the last six months. I love this. This is the second bottle I've bought this year. I mean, it's a huge bottle. It's 38 or 33.8 fluid ounces or one liter. So this lasts me a really, really long time. And this is my second purchase of the year, I believe. And I still really do like this. I'm finally going to be giving it a rest just because I did just get my hair done and get balayage. So I'm gonna be trying out some new products and things like that. But this one is really great if you have some brassiness in your hair, it helps to kind of reduce that. And so this is a shampoo I would use on the daily basis besides just treatments that help brassiness as well. So I do really like that. The next thing is a skincare product. This is the Aborian Korean Skin Therapy, which I love this brand, by the way. This is the Use a Double Lotion. This is really nice. I don't use this all the time, but I use this whenever I exfoliate, whenever I go in with a peel, like whenever I do something that's very intense on the face, I go in with this, and I think it's kind of like a lotion or toner. It's a liquid lotion, but it kind of performs how a toner or a toner water would. But I use this whenever I do something intense on my face and it just immediately cools it and makes it feel balanced and makes it feel okay. And so I love this and I forgot what it's supposed to do but it's a biphase lotion for dual performance and it's known for its antioxidant properties and that antioxidant properties in it is what helps to kind of calm down my face whenever it's in a flare up whether it be because of a sunburn or chemicals like I said from using other products so I love this I still use this I have like three or four of these little guys they all do something different and so I love this brand a ton a highlighter which I still absolutely love this is like my go-to holy grail like everyday simple highlighter and this is the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked highlighter in highlight number one I love this it's a beautiful highlight if you have light skin you definitely can wear it if you have darker skin tones but it's perfect for people with fair to light skin tones and it gives a very natural look and it's just perfect for everyday wear especially if you work in a professional environment and you want to wear a highlight but you're like oh I don't need to be highlight on fleek all the time like this is perfect it's really soft it's really beautiful it just gives a really easy simple highlight I love this this is my go-to for work I love it so much Another item that I still love, even though I have not used it a ton, I need to break this out. I definitely, when I first got it six months ago, I was using this like nonstop for the month of April. I'm pretty sure I used it like every day. And I kind of gave it a rest just because there were new products coming out, but I do love this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer and Luminous Light. This is a beautiful primer that just gives you a little bit of a luminosity. It looks great by itself too. If you don't want to wear makeup that day, but you just want to give your face a little hydration and a little luminosity, this is great. They have several shades. I love it. Love, love, love it. Definitely would recommend it. Two blushes that I was loving and still absolutely love and I have been using these as well as the blushes in the Jaclyn Hill palette and the new blush with light palette. Like I love this formula and these are the Becca Luminous blushes. Like I said they're in quite a few palettes now and I have them individually and I freaking love these things. They're so beautiful, so pigmented, so easy to wear. I have a pink shade and I have more of a purple shade. This one right here is Camellia and this one is Foxglove. Foxglove is my absolute favorite. I love it. All of them are beautiful though. Such a fantastic formula. Still one of my favorite blushes. A lip product that I was crazy about. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte. And this is the shade Marsha Marsha. And this is a really fun kind of bright pink bubblegum color. In general, I really do enjoy the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. At least the ones that I have. If you guys saw my reviews from months and months and months ago, to me, a lot of them were hits and misses. But I do love the shade Marsha Marsha. It was a great formula. And in last week's videos, you guys saw, or maybe it was just on Saturday's video, I had that really pretty red shade on. That's a Too Faced liquid lipstick I love in Lady Balls. And that's another really great formula. And then the mauve shade is really good as well, which I can't think of the name. 
yeah, I can't think of it, but the mauve shade, the bright pink shade like this, and the red shade are fantastic. So then I have a couple brushes and a bronzer. These two went together, so I'll talk about that one last, but this one is my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. I use this all the time, like almost on a weekly basis. I switch off between different brushes depending on the type of highlight I'm working with and the formula and stuff like that. But this is a really nice fluffy tapered brush. You could also use it to set um, your concealer underneath the eyes, but I love it for highlighting and I use this all the time. I think you guys see it all the time in my videos, so still absolute favorite. And the last two I love together and I did recently use them together when I went to New Orleans. I love this. This is my Chanel. Soleil Tan de Chanel and my Marc Jacobs The Bronze Brush. I love this. This is a perfect, perfect bronzer brush. It can pick up powder. It can pick up cream like this one. It's just a really fantastic brush. Definitely like a princess product. Like definitely not something you have to have, but during like a next VIB sale, like if you want to get it, that's when I picked it up last year. And if you're going to splurge, splurge when you can get a discount, definitely. Otherwise, this baby is super expensive, but it's a really, really good brush. And then I love the Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. I mean, I've had this thing for over a year or so, and I'm still barely putting a dent in it, if you guys can see. It's a really great bronzer. It does lean on the warmer side, so I tend to use it more in the summer months. But it's a really nice formula. It's a cream to powder formula, and I love it. Totally worth the money. Kind of seems expensive at first, but I'm telling you, this one ounce is going to last you a long, long time. So definitely worth the money as well. So I think those were all the products that I had been loving back in April 2016 and pretty much love all of them still to this day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick flashback favorites. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!